Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a must-have mods list and sliders that I use for The Sims. This will answer a lot of the questions I usually get on TikTok, so keep in mind that I mainly only make Sims rather than actually play The Sims gameplay-wise. So if you are like me and you only make Sims, then I think you'll find some of these mods useful. And like always, I'll have a Tumblr post with all the links in the description below. First up is my cast background by Nuemi on Tumblr and it's called The Blue Hour. I also have the blob remover that removes that blue hue underneath your sims feet. If you don't want that, you can get rid of it. Next is the cast area. I have cast poses linked to a lot of the traits. So like hot-headed, music lover, and geek. There are poses connected to cast traits. And you can just simply screenshot the pose you like and find it in your screenshot folder later. You might also notice I have 5 trait slots then 3. This mod adds two more trait slots in case you want to give your sims more complex personalities. I also have custom traits like impassive, salty, and fairy. You can get a lot of these traits from snowy95, they have a bunch. The next mod I recommend is kind of self-explanatory, it's the stand still mod, which makes your sim stand still and they don't move and do that weird you know that weird laughing at the sky thing yeah i hate that so this makes your sim stand completely still while you're zooming in and out i love it everyone probably knows this mod by now but it's the more columns mod instead of two columns that's that ea gives you you get four maybe five i have five and it kind of depends on your computer screen in case it might end up clipping out of the screen so we want to get one that fits your screen so one of my favorite mods, oh no, I took off my tattoos. One of my favorite mods is the Tidy Details mod. It gives you like these little organization cue cards right here. It says forehead crease and it, like labels everything, if you know what I mean. Like this mod just helps me know that I won't accidentally take off a certain skin detail. And it just really helps me keep my Sims like organized and I just know where everything is. It's also in the piercing, it's in the piercing section as well. So you got your brow ring and it's also in the tattoo section too. So boom, it's in the tattoo section as well. Speaking of the tattoo section, as you can see, my sim has these cute white aesthetic undies on. These are by Grim Cookies. It's a mod override that replaces EAs with these ones and I prefer these ones so much more. Another mod override that I have is the no EA lashes. So this mod basically just removes EA's bricks that they call lashes on each of their default presets. And I just love this mod to death. Now moving on to the sliders, I will show you all my most used sliders because I have a lot but I'm not sure half of them even work. But I'm just going to show you the ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So my favorite sliders are by Obscure Sims. And these sliders are all eye sliders. So my first one is the one that makes your sims cross-eyed. So you'll grab the tear duct area right here and pull inward. Oh, she's already cross-eyed. But basically you'd pull inward and pull outward. The other slider I have are for the pupils. You can make them really small or super big. All depends on my mood basically but I like to make it like around in the middle of no white showing at the bottom uh, the next eye slider you basically grab the corners up here and you can make your sims eyes super small or super big I like to max my sims eyes out and then same with the tear duct area you can like tilt them inward or tilt them more outward I also have a nose slider that changes the width and the length so you can have a super cute big nose or a super cute small one. And then if you go into detail edit mode, you can also give them a super pointed nose as well and still mess with the width too. Like you can make it up, down, that's actually really cool. You can just mess with the nose shapes and give them a more unique looking face. I have a couple chin sliders as well. I forgot who made them, but you can grab their chin and make it long or make it short. I like to make it long and like point it a little bit. Then I have Miko's pouty lip slider that gives your sim like a cute little pout in detail mode. So you take the bottom lip and push it inward and they're supposed to have like a little pouty lip. 
and I have a slider that gives really long lips, really short lips. My favorite, which like gives them a more puckered lip. I do this to all my sims and people hate it, but I love it. I forgot who this one is by. Pucker their lips up and I use this one almost all the time. I have a height slider and this is connected to the neck. So you basically drag the neck down and up for a tall sim or a super short sim. So, so here you can make her super tall, super short. And this also works in game. So you would have short sims in game. And last but not least, I have the classic feet slider mod that gives your sim some big feet or some short feet. As well as you can also make them tall too. I don't know what mod that is, but you can also make them pretty tall as well. I think it might be redhead sims feet slider. But that's all the sliders that I use. So that's it for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and let me know what other videos you would like to see on my channel. Bye guys.